The studio theatre here at Balakameen and we've got the finalists of Young Actor of Man and uh, all eight have done a great job. What we're going to do is we're going to play a little bit of what they've done while we chat to them and then when we have the winner at the weekend we'll be putting up on MTTV their complete winning bit. How's that? Right, now some of you, take us through what we're going to see of you here today. Um, I did two pieces. My first piece was from Our Day Out by Willie Russell and I was on top of a cliff talking to a teacher. And my second piece was from William Shakespeare's Romeo and Juliet, where I was waiting the nurse to come. How do you think it went? Um, I'm not sure. I was kind of panicking because it's my first time in the final and I was first, so yeah. Yeah. Is it tough being first? Uh, yeah, it was, but then I didn't have to like watch everyone in panic after that, <laughs> so. So I must say, a lot of girls in the final today. Yeah, I know. Yeah. Anyway, moving on, you'll tell us your bit. Um, uh, my first piece was from Winners by Brian Friel and it was Irish on the top of a hill and the second piece was Ariel from The Tempest and that I danced around a bit. You certainly did that. <laughs> Enjoy yeah. it? Yes. Good, I did. Really good. And you? Um, my first piece was um, a piece called Helena um, by Glenn Alterman and I, basically I played a, a girl who was so traumatised she wanted to kill herself with paint. Um, and then my second piece was um, slightly happier, but not that much more happier, um, from Miss Saigon uh, called I'd Give My Life For You, um, which was also, it was just about giving yourself for, uh, giving everything for um, her son. Powerful stuff, you could hear a pin drop of doing your performances. <laughs> Very, good. Very good. Right, some boys. Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I played uh, Joe in the same thing as Harriet's piece um, <clears throat> from Winners. And uh, it was the same setting as well, but we kind of just did it differently. Um, and the second piece was Anthem from Chess, which was uh, fun. <laughs> do, I mean, do you like that piece? Why do you, yeah. yeah. I, I don't know. I heard it and I just wanted to do it. Mm -hmm. uh, I heard Josh Groban sing it and oh, yeah. that was amazing. And uh, yeah, hope I did it well. Yeah, great. Well, and here, the other lad. You're right, yeah. Uh, well, uh, my first piece was um, from The Glass Menagerie by Tennessee Williams. I was playing a young man who was basically really frustrated at his mother, who's really controlling. So he's just kind of letting off steam at her, has a big, uh, bit of a bit of a shouty, a shouty fit at her. Yeah, um, it was good fun. And then the um, the other one was the piece I did in the, the first round, which was a bit of Shakespeare from Midsummer Night's Dream. I played Oberon, and uh, that, that, it's a really really good fun piece, really good character to enjoy getting into. So yeah, really enjoyed it. Good. Good. Um, as I say, we're all seeing you doing this now, so it's great everyone gets a quick chance to see you. Okay, my first piece was taken from Shirley Valentine. She's a middle-aged Liverpoolian housewife and she's a bit fed up, so she just talks to the wall. <laughs> <laughs> you yeah. fun doing that? Yeah, really fun. Yeah. Some good last night. Practicing in the kitchen, you know, <laughs> at the wall. <laughs> um, I did Miss Saigon as well. I'd give my life for you. Yeah, about Kim. Give everything for her son. And that was a bit more emotional because I did comedy. So then, it's hard to get into it after that, but yeah, it was all right. <laughs> yeah, my first piece was from Martin Gare, and I play the part of Bertrand, and I'm praying because I'm being forced into a marriage that I don't want to be in. And in my second piece, I'm a dance teacher who's a little bit crazy, hence the tutu and <laughs> leg warmers. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Enjoy it? Yeah, lots of fun. Great. Finally! <laughs> um, my first piece was from Road by Jim Cartwright, and... I was a woman that was married to an alcoholic and she was having a bit of a tough life and she was letting off her steam about how she hates drink. And then my second piece was a lot happier. It was show off from the Drowsy Chaperone and in that I am showing off, but she is saying about how she doesn't want to be on the stage anymore, but she still does. <laughs> I'm going to stop there because the adjudicator is literally going to come on and talk about you all now. We're not going to use any of that, but we'll be putting up the winning part on Saturday, or you know, because Friday night you'll be down at the Gaiety Willie to, to find out who's won, and then you get a great uh, prize. But we'll talk about that more. Good luck to you. Well, well done indeed. It's, it's great. The other man's got so much talent.